What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. Uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do we deal with these rushing teams they use, you know, especially these Sunsingers. Man, they're wicked. They are beasts in close quarters. Uh, rushing with shotguns. How do you deal with that? And, um, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can sort of, you, you know, combat teams that do this. If you're comfortable being an aggressive shotgunner, then uh, go toe to toe with them, and uh, you know, every now and then I'll whip out my shotgun and I'll play an aggressive play style like that. It's a lot of fun to do with the defender for me. I usually, you know, I can't remember the last time I did it on my Sunsinger, but honestly, that's the absolute like beast, best class to get aggressive with shot shotty or probably Sunsinger and the uh, Night Stalker. But uh, anyways, so sometimes if you're comfortable enough, it's all honestly, it's all about manipulating sight lines, and. Um, any highly competitive player, like if you were to watch Luminosity, if you were to watch Lumi play, and he goes, you know, super aggressive shotgun style, and it's all about breaking line of sight and uh, approaching from different sight lines. He does it all the time. He's a master shade step. But um, like, like I said, with these sight lines, like here, I jump up high so that when he looks at head level, I'm not there, and so it takes him an additional amount of time to orient his sights. This guy blinks up at the last word. He can't react in time to my shoulder charge. And at this point, I was like, man, I want a, I want a triple shoulder charge. But at this point, I realized uh, that's not going to happen. Now I'm in between two guys with overshields. So I use my equipment. If you watch these competitive players, man, they're, they're whipping around their smoke grenades and, you know, all that kind of stuff all the time. Firebolts. So I use my grenade. I break line of sight behind this cover. And then I can uh, come around from the right side make a different approach. And it's all about breaking line of sight because then when I come around the corner, he's looking at where I was. But since I broke line of sight, he didn't see me make a different approach. He didn't see me change the angle. And that's really what you have to do. You have to get creative with the sight lines and the angles and uh, the ways that you break line of sight with your opponent. So shout out to my teammate in this match. I believe his name was Shadowin, but uh, we were 2v3. We lost a teammate at the nearly at the beginning of the match. We were 2v3 against some really, really good and aggressive players throughout this whole match. We ended up making a close game of it. And these guys were really stinking good, especially that Sun Singer. So um, one of the things that you can do against aggressive players is, is drop back pretty far and give yourself some space to work with to draw these people in to bottlenecks and choke points and into some open sight lines. And then you can sort of free yourself up uh, to take a couple of shots at these guys before they're on top of you. And uh, obviously you need to change up your position frequently if you're going to do that. And uh, sometimes when you get a pick, you need to move forward so that you can uh, do some orb control, group up with your teammates, and then apply some uh, counter pressure. So here we get one pick. Um, that guy goes ahead and respawns. And now I've got you know a nice hard scope on the center lane. I managed to drop one guy, but then suddenly this guy blinks up, activates his arc blade, and I'm like, oh crap! <laughs> they were playing really aggressive. And uh, honestly, at this point, I should have just shade stepped forward and run. I shouldn't have challenged this, but I decide with my ambush Ephrodites, who needs aim assist, I take the shot and I manage to uh, to get the, the snipe on the guy mid super, and that felt pretty stinking good. But uh, what you're going to want to do against these aggressive players is when they're pushing up, if you get a pick like that, and then you just want to sprint forward, these guys were actually really good players we played against, we barely won this match. And then as you push forward with your teammates to do uh, orb control, see so it force that guy to respawn, they can't get the 50 points on the... Uh, the revive and then we get 150 points because my teammate gets the kill but I had already softened him up so I get the assist for additional points and then we get another blade dancer so I drop back towards my teammates so they can team fire by the time he gets back to my teammates I have him almost dead my teammate just puts a couple of shots in him and everything's gravy now this match here this is playing against uh, you know as aggressive as it gets we're playing against lucky butt wipe and this 5,000 watts in trials of Osiris and uh, this first round was just a cluster they're playing so aggressive that all we can do is trade and uh, Hobie's just cracking up at this point because he hates sticky grenades and uh, I was using them just for fun honestly but it actually worked in my favor for, for that point stickies really aren't the best call uh, you're barely gonna get any kills in a game with your grenades if you're using stickies but uh, anyways so here we decide okay we gotta slow it up if we're gonna beat these players because they are really good really aggressive players so Manny goes down early on this uh, particular round. He's a little bit further forward. He gets caught in a sick wombo combo. Honestly, it was a really nasty wombo combo. 
Um, I think it was lucky that he dropped. But we're, we're going against two Night Stalkers and one Sun Singer. And that Sun Singer's uh, fireball grenades are just nasty to play against. So we're playing more of the open sight lines here. And uh, as I'm drawing, you know, me and uh, Hovi, we're drawing them into us, into these choke points. I managed to get Watts down on the right, and then. Um, now it frees up a little bit of space for Hovi and I to work. So that's one of the things you want to do. You drop back, you draw them into choke points that you can control, and then if you get a pick, you can then move up to do some orb control like I'm doing with Watts' orb right here. And uh, I want to really deter them from getting to it. Now he's doing the same thing. Uh, he is on Manny's orb and uh, trying to do some orb control. Hovi moves up for the revive, and, and as he does that, uh, he tells me he's going to go for it, and then I sprint up to challenge because I know they're going to want to keep us from getting that revive. So I can get the snipe on him while he's focused on Hovi and the revive. So sort of trading aggro, that's a big part of it too. Now it's tied up 4-4, four, four, and again, we're drawing them back into us. If we can get an early pick, which I do, I get the first pick on Watts here as she makes that middle approach. Honestly, I felt pretty weak without my... Uh, my Titan Bellicose. I really wanted to jump up and challenge that center uh, sight line. So I move up to the top on the last guy to force him back towards Manny, make him challenge one of, one of us, and uh, I've, I've got him primed. Manny can wipe him up, and we managed to clutch out the win against these guys. And that was a really, really, really hard fought victory. So whenever you're playing against really aggressive players like that, sometimes it's just best to try and draw them into the places you want them to be. And then once you get a pick, that frees you up to get a little bit more aggressive, step forward and challenge them in some new sight lines. And a sort of juggling aggro like I did with Hovi there when uh, he decides to, to move up on the revive for Manigator. And then I come around and challenge from the right side. So he's got he's to gotta look at one of us. Um, and if he challenges me, maybe he can get me down, but he's going to be going against two overshielded opponents right on top of him if he does. And uh, that's, that's how we were able to win that game, honestly. So when you're playing against these aggressive players, it really does force you to uh, think on your toes to be able to strategize with your teammates. And that's a big part of it. Uh, you definitely have to be communicating. And, you know, sometimes you're playing solo like I am here. And we're playing against some pretty aggressive players. And they're sort of kicking our team's butt at this point in the match, and we really had to rally to make a push on it. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't have that, that coordination factor. We didn't have the communication. So it really just relied on when you're in those sort of scenarios, you have to watch what your teammates are doing and try and uh, supplement it. Try and, you know, be uh, a subordinate to it. Watch what they're doing, and then try and move up in different sight lines, but challenge the same people that they're challenging. And um, you can still do coordinated teamwork. And here, I'm just making a stealthy approach on this guy because I know he's on a kill streak. He's um, a sun singer. He's wicked in close quarters. So I make that stealthy approach. And so it's really that's that's how you gotta manage these people. They if they're playing aggressively, then you have to try and figure out ways of using that against them. If they play aggressive, then they're gonna be pushing forward, and you can sort of use their momentum against them. And this guy, as he's sprinting out to challenge, because he's an aggressive player, I dropped that lightning grenade. So that when he comes around the corner at that point, he's primed, and I can just easily gun him down for the kill. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. I'll try and uh, post some more gameplay of going against aggressive players and kind of how to counter it as well. Maybe make a, a, a several part series out of this because I know this isn't exhaustive. So hey guys, we'll catch you in the crucible.